Hey guys, Retro NES Hunter here today. Um, I know it's been a while. Uh, game hunting for me has been kind of on the back burner ever since uh, the Midwest Gaming Classic. I spent a lot of money there, so I kind of wanted to let the dust settle and uh, kind of regain some of the finances that I had um, previous to that. But I'm back with some pickups. It's uh, not, nothing too major NES wise actually I think I only have one NES game to show for it but uh yeah I've just been enjoying my summer so far I have been playing hockey going fishing and game hunting really hasn't been a priority for me so I'll show you what I got and um, maybe a little update at the end of the video and here we uh, go next I have some half price books pickups these games were all on clearance um, for a dollar actually so I was really happy to find these for a dollar I don't have the system for it yet so if anyone has a hookup on an Atari let me know maybe we can work out a trade or a purchase um, but I'm looking to get an Atari model it doesn't matter I should just probably specify it. not Atari 2600 um, so I got 10 Atari games for a dollar piece uh, first one we got uh, telegames baseball And then I picked up uh, bowling, uh, this game's called Adventure, uh, this one's Night Driver, uh, gotta go with the classic, Pac-Man, Air Sea Battle, This one's got a sticker covering it, uh, Hunt and Score. It's missing the end label on it though. Casino. Another classic, Space Invaders. And the last one is Flag Capture. Um, so like I said, all those were a dollar, so it was like 1088 with tax, so I felt that was a pretty good deal. Any any video game for a dollar, I'm more than likely going to pick it up just because you, you can't really beat that unless you go to a garage sale and find something for obviously under a dollar. last thing I picked up was a new store that I went to. It's a resale shop. Um, I'm not going to give this location away because it's, for right now, my secret spot. I've only told one person about it so far, but I haven't shown them yet. So... Still, for right now, it's my secret. Um, he was clearing out his inventory of all his video games for 50% off because he said he was making uh, a very large purchase from a customer who was selling his entire like collection. So, in order to make room for that, he's selling his stuff, like I said, half off. And he, I gave him my phone number, so when he said he makes the deal, he's going to give me first crack at the uh, batch that comes in. So I'm really looking forward to that, and hopefully he calls me back. But, um, so I got these things for half off. Um, the first game I bought was Star Wars Battlefront for the Xbox. Um, it's complete. Uh, unfortunately, it's Platinum Hits, but it's... Get, disc is in good shape. Little scratching, surface scratches, but nothing major. Um, I think he said all his Xbox games, if I remember, was $3, so I paid $1.50 for this, so... I'm really happy to get that for that cheap. Um, and then the next thing I got was the biggest one. Um, an original Xbox in the box. Um, it came with everything included. Uh, it came with two controllers. Um, it didn't come with the black ones though. It came with the like the blue translucent. Um, it didn't. It came with the game. He said it didn't come with the. Uh, two pack games there, um, but when I plugged in the Xbox to see if it worked, the game was in there, so the only thing I don't have for it is, is the uh, plastic case. But um, the box is in alright shape, there's nothing too major, it's missing this little back flap down here, I'm not sure if that was a cutout or if that originally came like that, and then as you can see there's like a little tiny rip in the box I think where the original tape was or where it looks like he might have retaped. Um, but this was half off, so I paid 20 bucks, which I think is a good deal. Um, I think Xboxes alone go for like 35, so to find it in the box for 20, 
was amazing. Um, plans for this, I'm really looking into possibly modding it um, to get all the arcade games in. I know emulation is bad, blah, 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 but otherwise it's just going to sit in my closet and collect dust because I really condensed my systems that I have out um, on my uh, entertainment center. Um, I, everything that I haven't been playing is in a box, in a Rubbermaid tote, so um, I'd like to get some use out of this. Um, the system itself is pretty dirty, but nothing that can't be cleaned. Uh, but for $21 or $25, whatever the bill came out to be, it was, it was a great purchase. Okay, lastly, just some notes and thoughts. Um, the Video Game Summit in uh, Lombard, Illinois, I believe, is coming up soon. I think it's July 12th or 14th, something like that. Uh, I, I think I'm going to go to it. I'm trying to get off work um, for the whole day. If not, I'm going to only be there for a little while if I do have to go in in the afternoon. But last year was a good time. I met some new YouTubers there. I met, uh, you know, great people. And I'm really hoping to see them there again. And it's a smaller show, a much smaller show than the Midwest Gaming Classic, but it's what I like to call cozy. So there's... Good amount of vendors there, and the prices I felt were a lot better than the Midwest Gaming Classic. So, um, if anyone's going, let me know down below in the comments, and I hope to see you there. Finally, um, an idea I've been throwing around is possibly doing a monthly, uh, I wouldn't say podcast, but maybe a monthly Google Hangout for retro gamers. Um, I would like to, I've done it before, and it was nice, but it was kind of spur of the moment thing, so I only had a few people in the room. Um, I'm thinking ahead of time I will post the time of the Google Hangout, hopefully at least, you know, a day or two in advance so more people can join, but um, basically, you know, we'll be discussing our collections, anything re gaming related, news, notes, things like that. Um, but it's something I'd like to get going off the ground, being a monthly, a monthly thing, because you know I don't talk to some of you as much as anymore, and I definitely like staying in contact. So I think this would be a good way to do that. Um, if you're also interested in this, post down below if you're interested, so I we, I can get things set up with you, and you know get the the program uh, off and going, so I can get more content on the page. Because like I said. For me personally, time is at a minimum with my weird work schedule. So anything I can do to get on my channel, other than just pickups, um, I would like to start doing. So with that, that's my pickup video. Um, long coming since MGC. And I hope to hear from you in the comments below. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye.